Hey, what's up? It's James from Chinese Drama Land, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Ryan Ding and Yang Chaoyu's drama Love for You Seven Times surpassed 2 million reservations. Dilraba and Gong Jun's drama The Legend of An Le and Arthur Chen and Luo Yun Shi's BL drama Immortality are rumored to premiere. But first, let me talk about Julianne Yumu. Arthur Chen and Zhao Lu Si are rumored to star in the upcoming historical romance drama Julianne Yumu. The drama is based on a novel of the same name, and the screenplay will be written by the novel's author and directed by Xie Zi, who directed 2021's historical romance drama Jun Jiu Ling that starred Jin Han and Peng Xiaoran. Anyway, Julian Yu Mu is set during the early Tang Dynasty, and it tells the story of Zhao Lu Su's character Duan Wu, a young girl working as a pearl picker in He Pu, who flees from a pearl farm to escape being abused. In a critical moment, poet Zhang Jinran, played by Arthur Chun, comes to aid and helps her out of danger. Driven by the desire to uncover the truth about her origins, Duan Wu joins merchant Yang Zijin's Su Te caravan, utilizing her sharp intellect to excel in the jewelry business. Along the way, she forms a profound friendship with Yue Yun Xiu, a skilled jade carver. Initially knowledgeable only about pearls, Duan Wu, with Yan Zijing's assistance, embarks on a journey that unveils the world of jewelry. However, she soon becomes entangled in a treacherous situation orchestrated by Yan Zijing, which places her life in jeopardy. In her pursuit of truth, Duan Wu travels to Yangzhou, where she gains fame for her invention, the tortoiseshell nail protector. Alongside Yue Yun Xiu, she establishes Ming Jing Tai, a jewelry enterprise, by incorporating jeweled harnesses. They overcome the limitations imposed by local jewelers, eventually securing a position within the guild. They introduce colorful jewelry, such as colored glaze and the sense gem, to Yangzhou, a city known for its preference for white jewelry. This broadens the local aesthetic and establishes them as pioneers in the jewelry industry. By chance, Duan Wu and Zhang Jinran cross paths once again, leading them to acknowledge their true feelings for each other. However, when Duan Wu finally assumes leadership of the guild, she falls victim to a betrayal by Zhang Jiheng, her former ally, plunging her into unparalleled danger. In her most dire moment, Zhang Jinran saves her life, allowing her to overcome Zhang Jiheng and reclaim position. Under her guidance, the Yangzhou Guild continues to ascend to new heights in the realm of jewelry artistry. This drama is female-centric, and it's similar to last year's hit historical romance drama, A Dream of Splendor, which starred Liu Yifei and Chen Xiao. Arthur Chen's last historical drama to air is the 2020 drama Legend of Awakening, and I am also looking forward to his upcoming BL drama, Immortality, co-starring Luo Yunxi. As far as Zhao Lu Si, she's been in many historical dramas over the years. Julian Yu Mu is slated for 38 episodes, and it will begin filming in the third quarter of this year. Let me know if you're looking forward to this pairing in the comments section down below. I'll keep you updated on Julian Yu Mu as they provide them. China released a new rule on September 16, 2021, strictly enforcing regulations on managing TV salaries and firmly boycotting Dan Mei adaptations, BL adaptations, so all BL dramas in production were banned from airing. On January 30th, Tencent's historical bromance mystery suspense drama A League of Noblemen that stars Jing Bo Ren and Song Wei Long made a surprise premiere on the Wii TV app without any promotion, becoming the first BL drama adaptation from Chinese drama land to premiere in 2023 since 2021's hit historical wuxia BL drama Word of Honor that starred Zhang Jiahan and Gong Jun. Fast forward to February 18th. Yoku's modern BL thriller drama Justice in the Dark only released 8 episodes of its 30 episodes. The rumors currently floating around are that Tencent will release Immortality this summer without any promotion, just like they did with The League of Noblemen, and they'll reduce its number of episodes from 58 to 40 episodes because China released a new rule that dramas cannot be longer than 40 episodes. But if a drama exceeds 40 episodes, the production team can make each episode one hour long, like they did with the recently aired costume fantasy romance drama Till the End of the Moon, that starred Luo Yunxi and Bai Lu, 
or they can split the drama into two parts, but they'll have to wait three to four months before they release the second part. I personally think Tencent will go with the second option and make each episode one hour long so they don't have to reduce the number of episodes. I hope this rumor materializes and Immortality finally premieres this time. Immortality wrapped filming in September 2020, so it's been two years and ten months now and I can't wait for it to premiere. I'll keep you updated on Immortality's premiere date as they provide them. Before I continue with the video, I want to thank you guys for your support on Ko-Fi. If you'd like to support me, consider giving this video a super thanks. It's the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. Or you can support me on Ko-Fi by contributing a dollar or more, and I'll leave the link to my Ko-Fi page in the description down below. The highly anticipated upcoming historical romance drama The Legend of An La, starring Dilraba and Gong Jun, is rumored to premiere on July 22nd on Yoku. The Legend of An La is adapted from a novel of the same name, and if you want to read it, click the link in the description down below. Dilraba plays Di Ziyuan, a girl who seeks revenge after her entire family was falsely accused of treason and beheaded under the Emperor's order ten years before the story starts. As the only survivor, she changes her name to Ren An La and schemes her way into the palace. Gong Jun plays Han Ye, the crown prince. He's kind and cares for the common people's welfare. Ren An La soon finds herself falling for Han Ye, but at the same time, she is unable to put behind the hatred between their families. Driven by his deep love for Ren An La, Han Ye vows to resolve their differences at any cost while deciding how to achieve justice for her family's death. Eventually, they join hands and go to the battlefield as they defend their kingdom against foreign forces. Dilraba's character in this drama is similar to her character in The Long Ballad, but I'll still check it out when it premieres. The Legend of An La was directed by one of the directors who directed Word of Honor, and it's slated for 39 episodes. This drama wrapped filming on November 13th, 2021, so it's been a while. Hopefully the rumors materialize and it finally premieres. The Legend of An La also stars Lil Yuning, and it will be available on the Yoku app with all sorts of subtitles when it premieres. I'll keep you updated on the Legend of An La's premiere date as they provide them. Love You Seven Times, previously called The Seventh Generation, is an upcoming costume fantasy Xianxia romance drama starring Ryan Ding and Yang Chaoyu, and it's rumored to premiere on July 22nd on Aichi. The drama's production team released a new photo still on June 30th to announce that the drama has surpassed 2 million reservations on Aichi. Anyway, the drama is adapted from the novel of the same name, and if you want to read it, click the link in the description down below. Many of the author's works have been adapted into dramas like the 2019 costume fantasy romance drama The Legends that stars Shu Kai and Bai Lu and last year's costume fantasy romance drama The Blue Whisper that starred Alan Ren and Dil Raba. Yang Chaoyu plays Xiang Yun, a girl who was originally a cloud turned into a fairy by Yu Lao, the god of marriage and love in Chinese mythology. Ryan Ding plays Chu Kong, a boy who accidentally broke into Yu Lao's pavilion. Whilst quarreling with Shang Yun one time, they unintentionally messed up Yu Lao's red thread, thus wreaking havoc in the Three Realms, and this begins their cycle through seven lifetimes to fulfill the Jade Emperor's punishment before they can return to the Heavenly Realm. It's worth mentioning this is Ryan Ding's first costume fantasy romance drama, and I'm looking forward to it. As for Yang Chao Yu, she has starred in many costume dramas over the years. Love You Seven Times is slated for 36 episodes, and it will be available on the iQIYI app with all sorts of subtitles when it finally premieres. I'll keep you updated on Love You Seven Times premiere date as they provide them. If you'd like to support me, consider giving this video a super thanks. It's the heart shape icon with the dollar sign below this video. Or you can support me on Ko-Fi by contributing a dollar or more, and I'll leave the link to my Ko-Fi page in the description down below. Let me know in the comment section down below which of these dramas you're looking forward to this summer. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new drama news updates in the future. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on the screen right now. That's all I have for you today. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.